Hey, if I crash it, I'll buy it, okay? Oh my gosh, I just broke his bike. All right. All right, Kipaso so Amigos, John's Moto Garage. Woke up at the channel. I'm in a hurry, so we're gonna jump on the Lowrider S, and I will explain once we hit the road. Yeah, squeaky. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's what's going down. Do you guys remember my buddy Yuan from a few months back? I had him come check out my Yamaha Bolt and the Harley Davidson RN8883. I put him on the two bikes, had him run around. I was sure, I was sure he was gonna opt for the Yamaha Bolt. I never did a follow up, but he ended up buying the Iron 883 off of me. And he's had it for a couple months. He hit me up like two weeks ago saying he's thinking about getting back into sport bikes. And you won, if you end up watching this, bro, I hate to say it, but I told you so, man. I told you, you were gonna end up back on a sport bike. He came from an R6, I believe. Had an accident back in the day. And anyway, fast forward a couple months, he's hitting me up saying he wants to get on a sport bike. He actually went out and traded the Sportster 883 for a Yamaha FZ07 a couple weeks ago. And he said he's digging the FZ07, but he's really starting to want another super sport, is what he tells me. So anyway, he's been sending me some different Craigslist ads asking me if the, you know, what I think about them. Today I was cruising, I was checking out Offer Up and I found a CBR 1000 R 2008, 14,000 miles, and looked to be in pretty good condition and a pretty reasonable asking price as well. I sent it to you on, next thing I know, he's scheduled to go check out the motorcycle. All right, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go check out a CBR 1000 with my buddy. I don't know if I'll be able to get a chance to take it for a test ride. We'll just kind of play it by ear, but stay tuned. We'll see if we end up buying the bike and find out what happens. It's mid rush hour here in Phoenix, so I'll also get a feel for what it's like to rock in rush hour, 110 degree weather. And as always, if you dig the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit me on Instagram, at John's Moto Garage. And huge shout out to my patrons. And feel free to support me on Patreon as well. It's more like supporting the channel and the community. Link below if you dig that kind of thing. If you want does end up buying the CBR 1000, we're gonna have to do a CBR 1000 versus Lowrider S. You gotta love the HOV lane, man. Brutally hot, bro. I think this is the spot. Yep. This is it. Dang, this thing's pretty nice, man. I dig it. All black. Must be in pretty good condition. So he traded this for the Iron 883. What's up, bro? Uh, you good. Hey, this thing's clean, dude. Yeah. Hey, you got the key for this? Yeah. Can I rock it around the block real quick? How do you like it so far? I like it a lot. Um, first gear is pretty, still pretty scary. Yeah, it's super just torquey. How many miles on this thing? Uh, 11,000. Nice, dude. You need some exhaust on it, bro. It's quiet. Oh, it's, I can't hear anything. 
Hey, if I crash it, I'll buy it, okay? Check the brakes, front brakes. Nice little Yamaha FC07 action. This one feels a little bit different than mine. That's pretty solid, dude. I don't think you would care if I tried a wheelie. Whoa, what did I do, dude? Oh my gosh, I just broke his bike. Dude, I broke it, man. Did the chain break or did it just pop off? I was gonna try one wheelie for you, dude. Yeah. Hopefully it didn't pop off the front. Oh, you know what it did? Dude, it broke that. Gosh dang it. They just can't handle a wheelie. Well oh, shoot. Alright you guys, so that turned out to be a total and complete and utter bust, man, in like all senses of the word. So not only did I bust up my buddy's bike trying to be an idiot and do a wheelie, never do wheelies on bikes that are not yours. So I don't know if you can see this, but what happened is it totally just the torque of the wheelie monster destroyed this chain tensioner. And so the wheel just scoot, scooted forward and the chain fell off. Anyway, not only that, but let me jump back on the lowrider and explain what happened with this CBR 1000. All right, so we pull up to the apartment complex where we were supposed to meet the dude. And for starters, the plan was to meet at 4. Dude shows up at like 4.30, so we're sitting there for like 30 minutes. Finally shows up, we follow him into the complex. Get out. He rolls the bike out, and right off the bat, you can see on both sides, the bike has been laid over. Totally thrashed. We didn't even start the bike up. It was just a, uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna pass type deal. And I take responsibility because I actually sent my buddy the post to check out that bike. And I forgot to tell him, you know, especially with sport bikes, I always ask if it's ever been dropped or laid down because nine times out of 10 on a sport bike, it has been. But I forgot to uh, mention that to my buddy. So we missed that small detail there. It's just one of those things, you know, you're not going to fool anybody when they come and look at the bike. If they see that it's been wrecked and laid down and it's totally scratched all over the place, all you're doing is wasting your time and everybody else's time. And I'm a big proponent of just be honest about the condition of your vehicle. You're going to save yourself a lot of headache and everybody else. So live and learn. I'm going to go home, see if I can uh, figure out how to get you on bike fixed up and back into condition. Anyway, I'm going to roll back to La Casa, and I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. John's Moto Garage. Sorry for the bust. I was hoping to be riding a CBR 1000 today, and I was looking forward to rocking the Lowrider S against the CBR 1000. But sometimes in life, things don't pan out the way you're hoping. And instead, I ended up breaking Yuan's bike, and we wasted a good hour looking at a motorcycle that turned out to be a complete piece of junk. Oh, man first world problems am i right all right you guys like and subscribe if you dig it hit me on instagram at john's moto garage it's always fun to get out on the bike no complaints there also feel free to check me out on patreon link below shout out to the patrons we'll see you guys on the next one adios nos vemos major bust on the CBR 1000 RR and I managed to break my buddy's motorcycle but not to fear we'll get it fixed and back in running condition and yeah good times I guess we'll see you guys on the next one those animals
in the mud, dog. Oh my gosh, Brosef.